miles this bad boy's down now. Twenty-three zero five eight. Twenty-three thousand miles. So, Mr. Jerry, so your bike's done twenty-three thousand miles, which is probably one of the highest, if not the highest, uh, Mark Strider uh, V4. Oh, it's people going I've a bit seen. more than that. Do you think? So, what problems have you had with the bike in twenty-three thousand miles? None. Zero. I mean, they put in the new engine, but yeah, they really didn't need it. <laughs> So well, you did like 8,000 miles. 8,000 miles, and the they put in the new engine, so this is 23 less the 8 on the engine. The rest of the bike is fine. I mean, you know, uh, saddlebags are great. You know, easy to get on, easy to get off. Top pace the same way. Um, everything. Except the leaves do get <laughs> jammed down in here. Uh, but it doesn't seem to affect anything. Doesn't seem to be a deal breaker. No, no, no. And the electrics have all been good, no... You know, the no only thing goals. is, you know, with interstate travel, if you can see on the windshield, there's a lot of little ticks and chips and stuff in it, but, you yeah. know, I mean, you're going to get that if you ride the bike, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure the camera's picking that up, but there is, there's a few things that's not yeah. I don't seem to have that on mine. I've done about 4,000 miles, I think, on mine. Yeah. Well, you never go above 35 miles an hour, so... And you've got... I know they were like down to the carcass, but you've got a ridiculous amount of miles out the first set of tires. Oh yeah, yeah. These I don't I don't know what which ones these are. What set? Probably the third or fourth set. But I get you get you can count on seven thousand miles for sure. Right. Eight thousand, no problem. On the front, I actually got twelve thousand miles on the my my last front tire, but it. That it goes was, down to the steel belts. Yeah. So, um, you know, that wasn't intentional. So if you're not too uh, throttle happy, you might get 9,000 miles yeah. to a pair, which, yeah. is, which is, you know, the service intervals. Or the stock time. tires. The, um, uh, what are they? A Pirelli. Pirelli Trail 2s. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and the, so that's about fifty percent better than you than we used to get on our GSAs. Yeah, basically. GSA six thousand, more or less. A pretty good, and you've got the top case on it, and uh, this has been good with the color matching insert. I can't and think of you know. There's really the enduro pack fitted and stuff. Comfort wise is excellent. Yeah, always a pleasure to ride it. And you've got enough electronic gubbins on here. Yeah, I had to keep a little BMW token, especially <laughs> BMW since I paid 900 boy. bucks for it. Yeah, Might as well. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I hadn't let on. mine go when I traded mine, that's for sure. Yeah. Even though, uh, and really that's the only kind of, I think we both agree, the only uh, blot on the landscape, which I've already made a video about, is that uh, the uh, Ducati Connect app, you can't run it in the background, it has to be the current selected app which is annoying yeah. and the side your cap is a bit glitchy in terms of it doesn't it except gpx imports etc yeah, right. but they'll sort those out i'm sure it's software but when you but you have the basic the bmw the bmw nav you got ways you got beeline yeah you know i mean everything. how many navigation systems do you need and you have to look at the road every now and then so the usps for this year are active cruise control and blind spot monitoring what do you think it is great you know right the active cruise control doesn't work above 90, 95 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, and if you're out in Wyoming and the speed limit's 80. Yeah, you might be doing You know, that. if you're following somebody, when he passes, he's going to go yeah. over the maximum speed yeah. that, that the cruise theory, control will allow. We, of course, would never break the speed limit. No, when we're that's, that just accidentally happened. Just accidentally and, um, uh, <laughs> but when you're riding around town and all that, it's it's... And fine. heated seat. You find the heated seat too hot, don't you? Me and Eric find it okay on the low setting. I had it on uh, low today, and it's well, it's 55 now. Well, it we started out at 39, 32. and I had it on low. 32 when we started out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was cold. It was the, uh, on low. It was. It was, it was fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I turn mine off now because it's like you know much warmer. Uh, heated grips are nice. I think I just had them on level one with my heated gloves on. And that works fine. And there, you know, this is when you want to use it. It's you know, it's really easy to use. I usually 
just keep yeah. it up you know but i uh, love the screen because it's not too tall and ugly right but when it's up it's great on the freeway nice and smooth air and when it's down you get a bit of air fresh air in the summertime so yeah and really you know good. the paint is good yeah i mean this has been twenty two thousand miles on yeah. on the interstate rocks but it's there's really beautiful. you don't really see any major chips or anything there's a little chip here and there but you know and down here it's good that's where you're going to get it off so what we're saying is it's as an all-rounder uh it's pretty much perfect unless you don't like chain maintenance which you're not that keen on no i understand not many people the, are yeah. yeah the chain <laughs> so if I'm you're still trying to get the dirt out from under my fingernails so if you were if you were changing the bike today being a a BMW and shaft drive fanboy, the GSA would be up there in your decision. Yes. And possibly the Goldwing, is that right? Is that fair to say or probably not? Probably not. Yeah. The, the, the Goldwing for a second bike would be great. Yeah. For long trips. Awesome. But for, you know, what we do around here in Georgia, you never know when you're going to get on a dirt road and. Yeah, literally. You, know, yeah. you come around the corner sometimes at 60 miles an hour and it's suddenly yes. dirt. Oh, it's it? dirt. <laughs> so, uh, okay. But, but the gas, the only other irritation is the gas. It just, you know, the it range. should have put more. It should have put you know, more range because it's a thirsty bike. Yeah, it? we're going to run it out of gas today. Yeah, yeah. We're do another video. That'll be a separate video. Find out what its true run to uh, empty range is. Looking forward to that. Well, thanks for the update, and uh, we'll catch you at a later date and see whether you've stuck with this or gone back to the GSA. <laughs> or whether uh, you're saying, yeah, I've done 50,000 miles and hopefully still zero problems. Yeah. I will say, well, no, I won't say it now. <laughs> Trade in value. Yeah, I think it's fair to say residual values in Ducatis have never been as strong as BMWs. Yep. Uh, BMWs have a, a good, solid reputation for high mileage. I think what's interesting with the current Ducatis now is I think the build quality and the reliability is as good as anybody. And that, you couldn't say that a few years ago. You'd have problems which owners would call character when things weren't right. And you'd have little annoying things where people would say, yeah, if you jump through several hoops, it'll work. But otherwise, but all of our bikes i think uh we've got six six friends i think now yeah. with these nobody's had any problems no. all good to go so all righty all right thanks for the update later bye